Hey YouTube, today I'm bringing you a quick Angel Chaos deck. My stand for my phone is broken, so I definitely had to do a little bit of rigging to make it work, but uh, it's probably pretty standard. I don't know, we'll just go right into it. Uh, it's been a while since I've uploaded some, some GOAT content, so I really just wanted to make this. Um, we'll start off with, we got three, whoops, Shining Angel. So to be honest, <laughs> Shining Angel, as everyone probably knows, just like not a fantastic card. Has a few good targets in the form of Faith, Magical Merchant, and Warrior Lady, but outside of Warrior Lady, they're in itself, I guess. They're not great. Tomatoes, definitely superior in every way, shape, or form, but it's pretty cool Faith being the um, the target for like Metamorphosis. So that's pretty awesome. DD Warrior Lady being just an out to every single card in the game. So regardless of position. So on top of that, I do run this is going to be like the difference. I do run Triple Magician of Faith as targets for it. These could, I think two is probably the right number. I do run three mostly just for fun to try it out, see what's going on. One could very realistically be Magical Merchant or two of them, vice versa. Or it could be another Serpent. Not another Serpent, huh, the only Serpent. But I just want to try three Faith, see how that goes with the Metamorphosis. And then being able to combo it with like Book of Moon or Tsukiyomi if I do happen to have that. And then I run one DD Warrior Lady. So that's the entire Shining Angel package. Do I think it's the most effective Shining Angel package? No, but I just think it's something different. Uh, something else that I run because this deck in general outside of Chaos Monsters does not have a real way to be... I'll save that for last, actually. I was going to say, it doesn't have a real way to be like aggressive. It's very much reactive, but I'll go ahead and save that for last. Let's push this up. Then we run one tomato, uh, could be three tomato, could be two tomato. I chose one tomato. And for the targets, we run one Nidoria. I do like Nidoria. That's kind of a pseudo warrior lady, but not as good. Very, still a very good first turn set. One Sangan and two Reapers. The more I play, the more I love Reaper every day. Then I will run one Breaker, one Tsukiyomi. I kind of did want to run Two Tsukiyomi is just a combo with the Triple Faith. Um, but I don't have the room. I'm already running 19 monsters, plus I'm running Scapegoat and two metas. Puts me up to a lot more monsters and dead hands that I want with two Tsukiyomi. So I did opt for one Tsukiyomi and then one Chaos Sork and one BLS. So what I was alluding to earlier in terms of this deck is not very aggressive. Just to um, see how it goes, I did add Triple Berserk Gorilla to the deck. Again, just to kind of play around with it. I don't think they really add anything tremendous, but in general, Angel Chaos, it doesn't it, it doesn't really mesh together very well. It's just a deck that happens to have lights that are very accessible and darks that are very accessible, being food for the Chaos Monsters, and then also good levels for meta. So I think throwing in Berserk Gorilla is a good way to balance out those very weak monsters being like 1500 attack um yeah berserk gorilla again like much of the deck is stopped by like much of the format is stopped by uh gravekeeper spy so that's just something to keep an eye out for i guess and then a very standard monster lineup or not monster spell lineup i apologize we have one scapegoat next storm snatch deal mst Creature swap for the goat, three shiny angels, faith if I need to, Sukiyomi, tomato, sangan, so on. Uh, Pot greed, liquid duo, graceful charity, two noblemen's, two metamorphosis, and I definitely messed that up towards the end. Two bookmans. So a lot of times in decks like this, especially when running meta, I like to run a four of count between bookman Sukiyomi. Really because of the Berserk Rills, it turned into a 3 of for this, but that's fine. We're just trying something. And then traps. Very standard trap lineup of two Dust Tornado, two Sakuretsu, two Mirror Force, one Torrent, and one Reinstruction. I will say what really inspired this deck is basically the idea of Berserk Rilla acting as a conduit, I guess, maybe that's the right word, for the aggression. I think this is something that 
If you're going out to build a deck and you're just looking for new techs, on top of Smashing Ground, which I featured in a few of my previous, or two of my previous deck profiles, and I'll tell you, Smashing Ground has played out phenomenally. I would also test out Berserk Gorilla. Smashing Ground, Berserk Gorilla, I think they kind of serve a similar purpose, but just do it for early game aggression, late game aggression. Test it out. I think it's really worth throwing it in there. Um, and not like specifically like a beast down deck. I don't know what Berserk Gorilla adds to a beast down deck that doesn't add to basically other decks outside of if you have Enraged Battle Ox on the field at the same time. But anyways, just throw Berserk Gorillas in decks, see what happens. They same thing with Smashing Ground, same thing with Widespread Ruin. These cards that don't see much play, just throw them in decks and just see what happens. But please, like, comment, subscribe. I don't get many comments these days. Um, I don't know, maybe people don't like what I'm putting out, I don't know. But yeah, it would be much appreciated if I get some comments some a feedback, a little bit of anything. Anyways, you guys have a wonderful day. Talk to you later. Bye.